Hello everyone. In this session, I'll talk about API Gateway and Google Cloud Endpoint. We will use Google Cloud Endpoint as the API Gateway as part of our production lab session. So API stands for Application Programming Interface and it's now a standard way to expose business services to end applications or users. And a simple API example that you might regularly use is a login service offered by platforms like Facebook or Google, which allow other applications to use their login service on the websites to allow users to sign in using their existing social media accounts. An API in simple form consists of an input contract and an output. And the contract defines the input payload, which is usually in JSON format. Prior to JSON, XML was widely used. And an application typically have hundreds or thousands of APIs, and it needs to be managed in a consistent way. Similarly, for security, you would like to use standards like uh, OAuth. And there are various cross-cutting concerns that needs to be addressed, like monitoring the API for latency, error rates, central logging, or setting up rate limits for APIs like you can only allow 1000 requests per second. And that's where API Gateway comes into play, which provides all these features. And you just need to worry about deploying your APIs. With Google Cloud, we have a couple of services for API management. The first being Google Cloud Endpoints and the other being APG. APG offers much more advanced enterprise features and works across cloud providers. Google Cloud Endpoints natively connects to Google Cloud services like GKE, App Engine, or Virtual Machines, and provides a quick option to expose APIs running on Google Cloud. And we would use Google Cloud Endpoints as part of the production lab setup. So this completes our session on API management and Google Cloud Endpoint. In our next session, we'll touch upon security and Google Cloud Armor service.